Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Banjo Tooie Blind. Over the last few episodes, we went back in time to the first Banjo Kazooie game, and we collected some Stop and Swap egg, which gave us some pretty sweet rewards here in Banjo Tooie, like some gamer pictures and gamer themes and all that. But most of all, we unlocked Banjo. Ba I almost said Banjo Tooie again. We, we unlocked Dragon Kazooie, which has the ability to blow out fire. And she looks like a dragon now, which is pretty darn nifty. And that's going to be pretty helpful, it seems, when we enter our next world, Grunty Industries. I've heard a lot about this world from you guys in the comments. This world is going to be the most difficult thing that I've ever done. And it's going to be pretty challenging. But before we do that, I like to stall some things out for the first few seconds. We haven't opened the silo yet, so let's go ahead and just do that really quick so we can come back here anytime. And now, it is time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to jump right head first into Grunty Industries. What do we got for us here? Oh? Looks like a whole lot of nothing for sure. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have. Well, the main entrance looks closed. Oh, we can't get in there. Uh, I'm guessing the water's bad. What's over here? Um, ooh, okay. Okay, that's bad. Oh wait, I can walk in this? Okay, I guess you can't walk in that. That's bad. Don't do that. Well, let's just, I guess, go this way since it looks like... Is this where we're supposed to go? What is this music even? I have no idea. What is over there? It looks like that's where I have to go though. Okay, so let's go ahead and not do this. Also, I'm not going to get used to Dragon Kazooie's really low, deep voice. That'll be something I have to get used to. Also, can you please? How in the world do you get over there? What am I supposed to do, exactly? I can't go up that yet because I don't have the, the shoes. I imagine if I come over here, I'm going to die. Unless I can grab... Oh, okay. I guess I can come over here somehow. Is this death? No, it's not. What is even over here? This is a pretty interesting start to this world. We don't have a lot available right now, and you guys are saying this is a pretty big world. I'm feeling something bad is going to happen to me. It's going to make me scared. What does this have to say, though? Let's go ahead and read. Could we do that? Short on battery power? Try looking here. I above the world, entry and exit. Two, floor two, guarded by tent tops. Three, floor two, near the... Okay. Mumble... I uh, don't know any of that. I don't know what any of that means. Um... Well. That doesn't exactly help me out any, so... Okay, I don't want to fall down there because that's going to do things to me that's going to make me scared. I'm already scared though, uh, so let's just get back on track here. Let's see what we can do up here. I see a battery? I'm guessing you need Banjo to like collect that though and take it somewhere. Oh, there's a ladder up here, I didn't even notice. Well, now I'm confused. Great. I've already started and I'm already lost. That's a lovely way to go. What exactly am I supposed to do? I can go over here, but nothing exactly happens, so... Wow. A whole lot of nothing is, op is available to me right now, and I can't even open this main entrance, which I'm guessing is where we're supposed to go, isn't it? There's a treble clef up there. Is there. Anything else available to us? This is literally zero right now. This is literally zero. I'm really confused. Is really nothing available? Do I need to, like, do something else? Because that's not the world, is it? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I need to do more exploring to be able to understand the concept of this world. Like, what's up there? 
I don't think I can, I can't go up there. Like there's nothing over there. I'm so confused. Okay. Yeah, he can stop because I don't really care to hear him going off on me right now, that stupid Minjo thing. What is even the point of this being up here? Like, there's gotta be a reason. Oh, that's right, I can't. How do you get up here? I got up here once, obviously. Good gravy. Alright, uh, there we go. So is there anything else up here besides this, this guy? There is nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Like, what's over here? Alright, well... Looks like I'm going to explore and to figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do here because I have no clue. I could look around for ages and I wouldn't know. We don't really have access to pretty much anything at this point. Uh, like, what is through that door? What is through there? How do you enter this world? This is where we came from, isn't it? I feel like this is where we came from, isn't it? No, this is not where we came from. Oh, no, it is. It definitely is. Well, shoot, Batman. What am I supposed to do? I feel like it has something to do with this, because I've been exploring for a good hot minute, and there's nothing in the overworld, so... Is there anything, like, here? Or is this all just ground that's bad? There's a, there's a train switch. I didn't get very far. Why didn't I not look past here? What does this train switch do? Wait a minute. Hold on. Do I have to go to another world and go to Grunty Industries from the train station? Because the, the first of all, the gates the gates closed. You can't get into the main entrance this way. Is that the only way to get into Grunty Industries is from the train station? If that's the case, then game, you have completely blown my mind because I've been sitting here for a hot year and I had no idea. This is going to be a much more difficult world than I expected because this that's, that's completely bonkers. You're telling me, game, right now, that even just getting to the world is already complicated? Well, now I have to find the train station in the overworld because I have completely forgotten where that was. Cliff, am I going to the same place? No, the cliff top is that area. Yeah, that's where Mumbo is, and I believe the train station is also this way. We barely even got to this world yet, and I'm gonna spend a whole episode just getting there. <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be a trip when I got here, when I started recording, when I hit the recording button. But now I have to bring the train here. I have to bring the train here, take the train, ride it into Grunty Industries. So I have to go through all this crap. I could easily have gone to Pterodactyl Land and, you know, get to the train station, but, you know, knowing me, I would have forgotten where the train station was. So that's pretty nifty. So, alright. If this video turns out to be a whole lot of nothing, just me trying to get to Grunty Industries, you know why. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just funny. Um, also, I apologize for the lack of videos over the last few days. I've had a lot of personal things going on that are pretty much important. Yeah, look at this crap. Now we can go ahead and take the train. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of personal things happening in my life that aren't really worth discussing in this video. Um, that have been taking up a lot of my time. Um, for making these, so I do apologize for that. So I know you guys were kind of wondering, hopefully, where I've been. I've been around, just been pretty busy with personal things. 
All right. Here we are. Run to Industries. Is there a way we can open the entrance, though, so I don't have to take the train every time I want to leave the world? Because that's going to be pretty annoying. All right, the train station, which is, I'm guessing, the starting point of this world. That's great. Um, where do I start? Where do I even begin? I see a Rareware um, box up there. How do I get up there? I wonder if I could do a nice good old... Oh, yeah, I could do that. Hold on. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice flip there. Uh, can I just... Do yes! And then, what's up here? Ooh. I am going places, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> there is our first honeycomb of the stage! There you go! Already making progress in Grunty Industries! That's a great first start, let me tell you. Uh, let's go ahead and just grab them before I fall and make me sad. Is there anything else up here besides that? Doesn't look like it. I will take my first collectible to be an empty honeycomb piece any day of the year. Is there anything else here, though? If so, I guess I'm I'm free to leave. I would like to find the warp if I can, if there is one. There has to be a warp here, right? I mean, it's the beginning, right? There has to be a warp. No? Alright. I don't want to have to travel here every single time, but I guess I will go for it. Alert! Intruders detected! Activate the tin tops! Oh, the tin tops. God, am I going to hear that beeping sound all the time in here? Because it's like a robotic stage, you know? Like a grunt, like an industry. <laughs> that makes no sense at all. Can I hit these guys by normal means? I don't think so. I'm going to walk away and pretend like they don't exist. Floor one. Well, I'm already uh, lost, so that's a lovely start. Also, waste. What is this? Access denied. Door has insufficient power to open. Battery required. Battery required, eh? Looks like I know what we're gonna be doing in this world. It's all the battery outside, so obviously that means something. Service elevator. Access denied. The service elevator can be used by mechanical personnel only. Okay. Well, looks like we're gonna need to become mechanical personnel. Also, hello there. What are you? Can I talk to you? Look at the state of my overalls. I'd be in real trouble if I can't find a way of getting them clean. Hmm. Looks like another thing. Once again, I'm gonna have to hold on doing for a second. What is up there? I had a thing and it did not work. Intruder in the trash compactor. Clean up droids report for floor one. Oh. Looks like I can do something in here, so let's do it. Oh. Did that lower my health? It did. Um. Oh yeah, gold feathers, bro. Save me! Hmm. Well, it looks like I can't do anything about that yet. Wow, brought me back to the train station. There has to be a something, cause I'm I'm obviously okay. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just so flabbergasted at what's going on. Uh, I feel like there's a lot happening that I'm not aware of. This is floor one. I can see that. I should probably get my bearings straight before we do anything. Kind of explore around, see what we can and can't do. The aircon plant. What's that? Uh, the air conditioning plant. Good lord, man. I wonder how many episodes it's gonna take to get me out of this jam. I see notes. I feel like that's kind of key. We haven't really started anything. We've just been kind of looking around, doing some stuff, walking around, dying one time. And here we are. What the heck is all that mess over there? I don't even know. Where is this taking me? Uh, a bunch of... What is this? What is that? Is that blowing me back? It is blowing me back. 
I can slowly move up. Can I get slowly past that? Uh, I'm slowly... Uh, it's so close. I don't think I can get past that. Hmm. Alright. Can I do anything about these guys, perhaps? Or are they just common enemies in here? I do have Kazooie's fire. You know, uh, Dragon Kazooie and all that. Like, what is even here, though? Oof. Alright. Seems like uh, there's a whole lot of nothing I can do. Warps would be great to have, by the way. Um, just saying. Because getting warps means that I can teleport everywhere in the world, and I feel like right now that's kind of crucial. Also, I almost died. You saw that happen, didn't you? I think y'all did. Almost see me die here. What's on the other side? Um, a whole lot of nothing. What is up here? <sighs> Dude, there's so much happening. There is so much happening right now, and I don't even believe. I do not even believe. Um, let's see. That this must be the egg, the entrance, correct? We're gonna need to split. That must be the entrance. If that's the entrance, then that's uh pretty solid. Also fragile. Does that mean I can break this or not? I can, and it opens up shoes. We don't have access to those shoes yet because I don't have any moves in this world just yet, and I feel like that's important. Oh, oh, yay! Splitting up. Also a move guy. Uh, I mean jam jars. Let me see. Where's Fleabag? You'll be needing her with you to learn this one. Oh, okay, cool. Nice for the thanks for the recovery too. Thank you, Banjo, for being able to do that. But anyway, let's go ahead and learn our first move of this world, since we have access to it. Claw clamber boots. Wear these boots and no more falls as they let you walk up walls. Let me tell you how it's done. Kazooie's footprints up to run. That's kinda neat. All right, now we have the ability to climb up those footprint things, which I kind of figured was gonna happen soon enough. Now that we have that move, I'm sure a lot of things have been opened up to us already, but first things first, we're going to need to do this because I feel like this is going to be important to open up the main entrance. And opening up the main entrance means that I don't get wrecked by life every day. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just step on these. And there's our warp to or I believe the beginning. Yes. Now, anytime you want to uh, leave, you don't have to do all the do all the nonsense, which I feel like is pretty nice. And just for a safe measure, I'll go ahead and activate that up. I'm pretty sure now we can actually do stuff out there. These must be the shoes. Wow, you are slow, Kazooie. Also, the music here is hilarious, not gonna lie. Does that mean I could take these and bring them over here, perhaps? That's exactly what that's like. Ah, oh, I didn't have enough time. I feel like I'm gonna need to activate shoes out here. Which I don't think there is shoes. I'm gonna have to, like, do something to make that work, I guess, if that makes sense. But that already opens up quite a bit for us at this moment, so that's nice. Uh, I already... That's funny, I activated the shoes outside the box, that's nuts. Alright. Neat. That's a great start. I see shoes, meaning that I'm sure I can climb up stuff now, right? Oh god! Okay, sir, I'm sorry, I was I'm sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. Man, the nerve of some people these days. Let's see, where is it gonna take us? I can just cancel out the shoes anytime I want to, which is nice as well. Alrighty, so... We have lots that we can do. I might as well make this a little bit of a longer one since it did take us a second to get up here. Or at least into the world. What's in here, though? I, I'm, I'm kind of curious. What is up here? Second floor. A warp would be lovely. I feel like I want to go back and figure out what's in the first floor first, and then... Well, I mean, I guess if... Worst case scenario, I could always find a teleporter. And I'm guessing the same thing, I can't go in there because I'm not authorized mechanical personnel or whatever it said. 
So let's just do some more exploring and figure out what we can do. Oh, I see Wumba. That's important. What's behind here? It's a Globo. I usually would like to wait to warp. Can I uh, get up here by chance or? No. I usually would like to wait for just to keep exploring just to see what I can do. Hopefully I don't have to like make it, I don't have to like do anything stupid with Mumbo to like enhance the abilities of, you know, Wumba this time around, because that would be kind of silly. Also, I forget, I have eggs. Sure enough, I can do that. Oh, but what else can be done? I can go down the floor one. I see a bunch of these guys still. I don't even know what they're all about. Can I break this open? I can. Might as well break all these. Okay. I like the shoes, though. Not gonna lie. The shoes are pretty nifty. Or the claw clamber boots, that we're calling them. Nice feathers. I will take it. I don't even know if I should be exploring. Also, yeah, I don't think I can hit those guys with anything. Maybe eggs, perhaps? Like, maybe some grenade eggs can blow them up. Yeah, sure enough. Will they just respawn, or... Yeah, they do. Uh, I want to shoot this down, though. I'm gonna hang high. I'm gonna hang low. I'm gonna shoot that. That doesn't do anything. Alrighty, well, it seems I'm coming up on good time here. I did say I was going to do a little bit more, but I feel like if I do any more, it's going to lead up to a pretty long video, and I don't want that. So I figured this might be a pretty good place to end things off. We just got ourselves in the hands of Grunty Industries. I'm kind of scared, actually. It seems that we have a lot to do, and we have a whole lot of nothing done so far, as I expected. As you guys expected of me, which kind of makes sense. Next time on Banjo-Tooie Blind, we're going to be doing some more exploration of Grunty Industries and see what the heck is going to happen here. With that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for some more Banjo-Tooie Blind. I will see you guys then.